for that day, my friends. Focus RS Exhaust Day. Let's get it. What can I say? We balled out. AWE switch path exhaust with a wireless remote in this box. If you're looking for this exhaust or the track edition or a touring edition for your Focus ST RS, karmaspeed.com, grab your AWE exhaust. We're growing the parts business and I need your help. Let's get ready to open this. She's a big box. So big that I don't think on the table is a good idea. Pipes for days, let's get into it. Little special piece. Switch path muffler. An AWE branded box. And a lot of trash. A lot of trash. My OCD is triggered. I definitely cracked a rib. Riding dirt bikes with the boys. So if I'm moving a little slow, you know why. And you go to the channel, you go to the channels tab, there's a profile picture and a way to find the Moto channel. Let's look inside this box. There it is. There it is, folks. This is why we paid the big bucks. Cherry blow pop. I think I'm gonna eat it right now. Nostalgia. All right. How to install those new shiny tips of yours. Hmm. I'll read that later. I opted for chrome tips. I like chrome tips. The car is blue and white. It just looks better than black, in my opinion. We don't want more darkness. We just wanna, we want to feel nice. I got a bag of stuff right here. Install instructions, little QR code. Wiring for our remote. And all of the clamps necessary to hold this exhaust system together. Look inside this bag together. Zip ties. This looks like the plug to not throw some warning lights in the car. It's like a resistor. You can see the remotes in here. Not one, but two remotes. Let's check these out. Pretty cool. Got a little 3M on the back, so if you want to stick it somewhere, this is a little mount. So you can leave this in the car, plug in the top, plugs in. Cool. AWE branded and everything. Love that. Then we'll have to figure out what exactly, this is This is just the receiver. So this plugs into the exhaust, which is this piece right here. And this is what receives our controls. This will probably get mounted under the car somewhere. actuator sadly we're gonna have to cut the exhaust right here check this out up in here i've never seen this huh look at the shape of that it's like a little triangle spot to make space for the drive shaft it's funky looking and you got this cute little v-band hopefully this thing comes off without breaking we shall see and then cut the pipe off here to get the stock cat back off first things first just gonna get this thing all soaked in pv blaster penetrating lubricant hopefully everything just comes off a little easier this way i don't trust these things with fords this is a really good tool to have for days like this exhaust hanger remover dude linked in the description in my amazon storefront list I have it in every video go grab one of these they're super cheap if you don't have one already we're gonna use this. I need to get my pole jacks next, since I don't have a buddy with me. This is a vibe. Sunset, fun car, tools. Glad you're here with me. Now, grabbing my Sawzall to cut the pipe. I've got my photo out of AWE directions, figuring out where exactly to make my cut. Looks like right here. Before I cut, 
I've got my hearing protection in. I've damaged my ears too much over the years under a car with an impact. Don't do what I did. Like I, I get sensitivity. Just wear ear protection. I got. I used to use my AirPod Pros and seal them off. I'm gonna support this rear muffler on both sides. Get that ready in advance. And so I don't forget, there's a little clip right here. You can press it in, pull this plug out. Now I'm not gonna do any damage. Let's get to cutting, shall we? Cutting done. All we're really gonna deal with now is these exhaust hangers. Good thing I have a tool. Oh yeah. Sometimes the tool gets stuck. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna take the hanger off the exhaust side. So the hanger's gonna stay up in the car. What else is holding it in? This one up here. Got the one in the back by the cut. Yeah, the only thing holding it in are these. Big old muffler. This is where all my volume went, yo. Cool, halfway out. All right, I was able to get this middle one started with the tool, which is enough. Okay, I got the rest, the rest of the way out. Only thing left is the rusty V-band, which looks like it's a 15. It's gonna be really weird if this is a 16, which it is. Ah, uh, this looks like it's gonna come out nice. Nut is completely off the V-band. Oh, pull the bolt out. Okay, there we go. Got it separated. I'm gonna slide this out. Voila. Now I just gotta figure out the best way to slide this all the way off. Looks like there's like a center piece. There we go. This is like a little piece that goes in here. Oh yeah, has its own little spot. I'll just take it out. Before I get any further, I can just get this hanger off. Maybe you can really see how this tool works. Oh, nice. Mid pipe with the pipe that connects to the down pipe. Three inch clamp. That's all the midsection YE over the YE. I'm gonna grab YE. Eh? Push it in to my hanger. I should have lubed my hanger silicone spray also on my Amazon list. That made all the difference. Cool. Now I'm just gonna get the V band on. The trick for this V band is to get the part where it connects up top, because that does play a part of it. Now it's seated in there, right? Now I can stick this little piece in there. That is snug. I'm gonna wait until I have the rest of the exhaust in place and tighten this last so I can get all my fitment right. The goal is to just maintain as much play as possible when piecing something like this together. Now I'm going after this pipe right over here. Got this in here. Silicone on the hanger. This is a tough spot for you to see, but it's really straightforward. So I'll show you when we're done. I wanna say we're ready for the muffler part and get rid of this. Can't wait till I have an indoor shop and I don't have to PB blast my pole jacks. So they won't move when they're rusty. Muffler time, three inch clamp. We're ready. This hanger needs to be sprayed out. The one we took off the exhaust, I'm gonna put on the other side. That one's ready to go now too. Slide it on here first. See if that makes it easier. Great, that's the move. I don't know if you caught that, but when you do this side, put the hanger on the exhaust first and then push it up on the car. That made it a lot easier. Oh, it's getting official, yeah. What's next, what's next, what's next? That's looking solid. I don't need this side. 
What? It's over here now? We're moving it? All right, you get a clamp. Sweet, get rid of these pull jacks. Figuring out how I want to orientate my clamps so they look good. Yeah, like hit in like that. Okay, so that's adjustable still, just tight enough. Now I'm gonna go back through, tighten each clamp. Not too hard on the V-band. There's that one up here. Oh, I can get my gun to it. Maybe even an extension. Let's get the tips on, shall we? Well, I'm gonna point this one up, get my 13. I want the clamp to be on the top because that'll be most discreet. So point it down. Let's get it snug. Getting close. Whole thing just needs to be rotated. Perfect. This one's golden. Now I can tighten back here. Love it. Let's do the wiring while we're at it. Female part of the AWE wiring harness to the factory plug. Okay. Then you have this part, plug in there. And now I have a bunch of extra wire. I need to route to the other side, which looks like I can route up here. A little shield, I can stick it in. This wiring is up nicely so I'm not worried about it where it pops out gonna plug in here slide on the gray little tab push it in and it's secured got some zip ties to put all of this together The shielding up here where the wire is tucked behind, there's a lip, I bent it up so that that wire will have no way of sliding out. All right, got this one on. The makeshift clamp, tighten it here. Very important part, washing your fingerprints off the exhaust. fastest ways to hurt your vehicle is to leave a pole jack like under a corner and you lower it and crush something it scares me tips look good oh yeah sheesh, sheesh. they're big ding boy all right nothing better than a good old-fashioned cold start but i need to put this on you so you can hear the exhaust better got the remote i said to cycle the key on and off without starting it to get it to work right. I think I hear it. I do, let's go check it out before we turn it on. Cool. Ah. So if I click on, it opens up in there. Click off closes you already know we're about to do that first start with the on let's go this is cool 
First start, let's go. Okay, not as loud as I thought, but I do like the volume a lot. a little bit. We'll do more revving tomorrow. It's going to be too loud on neighbors, but let's go for a drive. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Sorry, neighbors. That's insane. That's literally insane. Like, you wouldn't think it'd be that dramatic with a muffler that small. That's amazing. You could have a full-on conversation. And then we just blew the loudest freaking pop I've ever heard. I'm down for way more revs at the house to show you what it sounds like, some different variations, but when I tell you that it sounds, there's words I cannot say on this of what it sounds like. But it did reach out to my boy, Alan at Edge. We're gonna work on a special tune because this is fun to show your friends and it makes them laugh instantaneously. Like, it's just ridiculous. This has a stock downpipe on it. Keep that in mind. So this is just a cat back. The Ford engineers and the guys in the ECU tuning department had a little too much fun with these pops because with a cat back, I'm straight up embarrassed driving around town. People just, you know, having a good day. This is so loud that it's like enough to scare someone. But we're gonna work on something special so that I can drive spirited around town and in the hills and not be, you know, making those types of noises you just heard because it's fun for a sec, but then it's like, okay, all right. We're good, we're good. But I wanna have it on command. So we'll get to that in another video. I've made the executive decision we're gonna follow up with more rev bombs, exhaust notes, once I work with a tuner to try and calm this down a little bit. The previous episode, we put blue tint on the RS and this has an interesting twist with this crazy device that'll show us the quality of film. This is something I learned from. This will be a video that you can learn something from, from Rick and myself putting this video together right here. Check out putting some really, the highest quality tint you can get on the Focus RS. Pretty sick and it has a blue color to it. And you might take notes for your build. 